Question number two. The numbers in this sequence increase by the same amount each time. Right, the two missing numbers. Now let's have a look at what happens with this sequence. Now we've got a missing number at the start of the sequence and a missing number at the end of the sequence. When we're going forwards in the sequence, we can see that we're adding on 40. Because 610 add 40 is 650. Add 40 again is 690. So you'd expect to be adding 40 again. Now some of you can do this step in your head. 690 add 40 and hopefully you will get 730. If you couldn't do it in your head, you could do a very quick column method. So 690 add 40. 0 plus 0 is 0. 9 plus 4 is 13. Carry the 1. 6 plus 1 is 7. So you can see that it is 730. Now the problem we've got is the other missing number is at the start of the sequence. So we've got to work in reverse. So when we go forward, so we're going add 40, add 40, add 40. But when we go in reverse, this would be subtract 40. Subtract 40. 690 subtract 40 is 650. Subtract 40 is 610. So we need to subtract 40 from 610. And we will get this missing number here. So again, you may be able to do it in your head. And hopefully if you can do that, you would get 570. Just to double check, 610, subtract 40. 0 take away 0 is 0. 1 take away 4 we can't do, so we'd have to borrow 1. Carry the 1 there. 11 take away 4 is 7. And 5 take away nothing here is still 5. So it is indeed 540.